attracted me most to doing Snow Globe is uh, it's a family movie. It's really about the difference between expectations and reality. It's, it's a weird uh, mash of people coming together. You know, the perfect Norman Rockwell Snow Globe couple meets the Italian human family who are just out of their minds nuts, you know. So there's a lot of funny dynamics going on in it. I got nothing for Christmas. I never got anything for Christmas. You too. I loved that it was a family Christmas movie. When my children were young, it was always an event to get everybody together on the couch after dinner and, and watch a Christmas movie. So I, uh, I loved that and I wanted to, I guess I want one for my grandchildren. <laughs> Naturally, I read the script and I thought it was hilarious. I found myself like laughing out loud constantly and then falling in love with some of the with all of the characters actually. And even with like the male characters, I see Angela's conflict, but I also see at the end of the day, it's like, you know, family and 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 friends that you, you put those people first and those are the people that are always gonna be there for you. I ran into the new guy. Oh, tell me. You have to stop. The problem with Angela is she's always looking for perfection. She kind of lives like this very Martha Stewart type life, <laughs> but yet she's uh, infused it with a Brooklyn lifestyle. She's got a crazy family that's, you know, they're, they're a little overbearing for her because she wants to be so independent. They all live in the same building. She works at the deli for her family as well, but yet she can't really figure out what she wants to do in life, but there's one thing that's certain. She loves Christmas. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Douglas. Angela is in a bit of a dilemma because she has two guys that are very interested in her. She's more interested though in the perfect guy, which is Douglas, and everything about him is perfect. Only thing is, there's a few glitches because somehow he gets out of the globe from Vermont and ends up in the real world with her and she realizes everything's not so perfect when you have to teach him every single little thing about the real world. And then there's Josh's character, which is Eddie. And Eddie is this guy that uh, moves into the building, which her family, by the way, kind of set her up with. One day she bumps into Josh in the building, doesn't really know that, you know, he's, he's in there. And she finds a moment where, oh my gosh, this guy's kind of getting me nervous. I kind of like this guy, but then she finds out he's kind of set up by the family. So she's giving him a real hard time. But um, Josh, I mean, but Eddie, doesn't give up. Eddie definitely doesn't give up. He he has a thing for this girl. She's spunky and she's different. So he tries anything that he can to make sure he gets her attention. And somehow, maybe he does. <laughs> now you realize we got a pretty big problem here. And what's that? Well, your family is one. You have this character, Angela, who's always striving for an ideal, always striving for some kind of perfection. And then when she gets it, it's not exactly what she thought, and then that makes her realize that the imperfections, or the things in her life that she thought were imperfections were actually kind of more perfect than you could ever hope for. As she actually attains this perfect Christmas, as she calls it at one point, she realizes that there's, that's, that's all that it is, it's just a sheen. There, there's, no, there's no real feeling for anybody, there's no real emotion for anybody, and she realizes this. As, uh, as hard as it is to deal with her family, it's, that's what Christmas really is, is, is you know, emotion and, and your family. <laughs> Angela's family has a strange history of renting out an apartment in their building to young single men that they hope will marry Angela. I guess I'm the most recent in this line of people. And uh, I meet her and become instantly interested in her because she's kind of quirky and she's obviously beautiful and, and just kind of odd. And I, it's something about that attracts me to her. And uh, I spend a lot of the movie trying to get her to like me. She's a lovely young girl with a dream of what her family should be and what Christmas should be like. It's not a perfect family. And she longs for that very traditional, classic uh, holiday. And that's really not what this family is about. So she dreams to be somewhere else, and, and in a very funny way, she ends up going somewhere that is perfect. Douglas is the most positive man that you could ever meet. He's like, the, the snow globe is always half full for him, you know, of snow. And he uh, loves like just a couple of things, mittens, uh, 
shoveling. Um, he, you know, is sort of like thrown into this world of Angela's reality world where um, everything is foreign to him. So the, it's been fun to just like play with everything on the set because everything is new. Basically anything that doesn't have a Christmas theme is new to Douglas. It's pretty amazing. I mean, they've done incredible work and the production design has been really incredible. Like they've paid so much attention to detail. The two worlds are very different. They're contrasting. And you can see that like there's this idyllic snow globe world and then the reality of the New York uh, world, you know, the Brooklyn world. The set is amazing. I was thinking they were going to do green screen or something. I had no idea that, in the first place, the actual snow globe looks exactly like the real world globe. <laughs> it's amazing the details that they've done, and I can't, I can't imagine what it took for them to build it. But being inside of it, I actually feel like a child. I feel like I'm in line to go take a picture with Santa. <laughs> and I'm in New York and Macy's, you know? It has that feel, but it's like a dream in there. The thing that I like about the script is that it's funny and that it's very uh, family-oriented. It's very funny. There's a lot of great stuff. L Lorraine Bracco, who never really has done a lot of comedy, she's just hilarious. The whole family uh, dynamic is hilarious. Uh, you know, um, Matt and Kalen, who are the snow globe couple, are great. It's sweet and lovely, and I guess in the basic story is family is everything that we've got, and to appreciate that and, and, and cherish it. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think people are going to enjoy watching this film because, uh, I think it's magical and it's fun and it's beautiful and it's and it's a great family movie, great chick flick too. Because I mean, there's romance in it too. How many Christmas movies involve romance as well? And it, and I I believe it's about um it's about dreaming and hopefully your wish will come true. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Yes!